Why have one cat when you can have two? The 320F is Diecast Masters model number 85931 and the 323F is model number 85924. If you didn't believe me about the numbers, well here they are written large on the outer shipping cartons. And they do a good job of protecting what's inside. So let's open one up and here we see the tin covered with its nylon bag. But there's always a game to play regarding which end should you open up. Do you get the bottom of the bag, which we have got? Or are you lucky enough to open up the right end, which is the open end, so you can get the tin out? Well, we've been unlucky today, but now we've got it open, let's get the tin out and see how it sounds. Well, they are different cats, so it's no surprise they sound different. And the tins are different too, with good photos of the real machines and technical details about the machines also. Whatever else you say, these tins are certainly a nice way to present a model. Let's now open up the 323F to see what the packaging is like inside and we pull out a small cat diecast models brochure to begin with. And then there's some good quality packaging materials to protect the model. And then you just can't help yourself sticking your finger and thumb into a couple of holes. And you pull out the foam rubber. And then we can take a quick peek inside the tin and there's the model sitting at the bottom. And then we just have to be a little bit careful what we get hold of as we ease it out of the foam rubber at the bottom. One more last bit of packaging to remove and that's some protection that's on the crawler tracks. And the good news is that's removable and easy to replace. With the packaging off there's no assembly to do because these models are complete out of the box. Looking underneath, the undercarriage base plate is plastic, but there is detailing on the underside of the body. The metal tracks are decent and they're mounted on crawler track frames with static rollers. The cab has got a metal grab rail with plastic mirrors. And inside the cab is a cool cat wearing sunglasses. The quality of the paint and graphics is very good and that includes tiny warning graphics. The handrails are metal and there are also hydraulic hoses going to the main boom rams. And if we look from the top the main engine cover is plastic and there's hydraulic detailing going up the top of the boom. There are lights, hydraulic hoses and small graphics on the boom and stick. And the bucket is a decent part but it's not removable. Although the 323 is essentially the same as the 320, there are some differences of detail such as the grills on the side and also the top plate behind the cab. But the main difference is the different stick and the hydraulic thumb attachment. The bucket is also slightly different. Once again we're out on the Cranes Etc test site. And although the tracks can't roll on a smooth surface, they are very free rolling. And if we rapidly deploy a piece of rough terrain, then we see the crawler tracks bite well and roll nicely. Let's now give the onboard operator the ride of his life by turning the machine backwards and forwards. And if he's still conscious, we'll let him demonstrate the digging functions. The hydraulic rams are stiff, so there's no problem holding any pose that you want to set and the range of movement up and out seems good enough. However, it is restricted when you try to bring the stick in and it won't fold in completely, which is a pity if you want to use the model as a transport load. The bucket movement is also very stiff and again, it's probably a bit shy of what the real machine can achieve. Now we move on to the 323 and the functionality is the same with the addition of the thumb and the thumb movement is good because it can be opened fully or if you close it up, it's got enough grip to hold something. So the thumb is an interesting and unusual addition to a model. Let's take a look at the ability of the models to dig at depth. And here they're positioned on a specially made giant tin bench. 
Both models perform the same and they do a decent job of digging down deep. <laughs> Diecaster Masters has made a good job of these two Caterpillar models and it's nice that there are small differences of detail between them. Although most of the functionality is good it's a pity the stick movement in particular is somewhat restricted. But overall these are very nicely presented models which are robust and nice quality and they're very good. 